What up everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm going to show you how to set up and read the loudness meters in Reason. Let's get into it. Alright, let's get straight into it. So we're going to start off with setting up a VST and the VST we'll set up is the Ulane loudness meter. I'll just type in U, it should be the only thing that pops up. Yep, cool. Now what you can do is drag it in and if you flip to the back of the rack by pressing tab, you'll see that it already connected to something. Now you don't really want it to do that because it made itself a sin. So what you need to do is hold down shift when you drag it in. If you don't hold down shift, it will auto connect to something that you don't want it to connect to. All right, so I held down shift. I drag and dropped it, and if I flip to the back, it is not auto-connected. Now, in order to flip to the back of the rack, you gotta hit the tab button, right? Tab on the keyboard, on the far left-hand side, I'm pretty sure, unless you have some kind of weird keyboard, and which has, I can't help you if you do, uh, whatever. So, in order to connect this, you'll see that there are inputs and outputs you can use. So, you wanna run the audio through it, and you want to make sure you put the audio back to where it's supposed to go. So in order to do that, you'll put your master out into the audio input of the loudness meter and the output, the audio out into the audio output here, which is going to go out to your speakers or your headphones. So now we can still hear the audio. If you can't hear your audio, then you probably connected something incorrectly. So check on that. And this is our loudness measured for this section of the beat, which is looped over and over again. And if I skip forward, I can see the loudness for the rest of the beat. Now this meter is free. So if you don't want to spend money on plugins or you just don't have a budget right now, then go ahead and grab this meter. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to set up another meter just for uh, safety measures. I know a lot of people are probably still confused, so I'll run through it one more time. This is the meter that I use. It's the WLM loudness meter. I held down shift and I drug it in right underneath the master section. You could put yours wherever you want to, but if you want it to be a easy connection, then you probably just wanna drag it under the master section so you can see everything, especially if you have tons of stuff in your template. Cool, so this is the loudness meter. And these are the measurements right here. Now, if you wanna use a rack extension to measure your loudness, it is pretty much the same process. It just won't be a VST, it will be a rack extension. The connections will remain the same. So if you flip to the back of the rack, unless you changed anything, it will look like this. And this is the, the uh, template default template so this is empty plus effects cool so what we're going to do now is use a rack extension and a rack extension is the same process you'll have main inputs main outputs same as the vst and you'll just bring your master out here and then you'll take the output of the meter and put it up into this audio in and out area on the master section the hardware interface Cool. Now, the reason you might want to use external meters is because Reason itself only measures VU, PPM, and peak. VU is like the average volume level in decibels, which is the measurement for the loudness in this specific situation. If you really want to get technical, it's not really a measurement of loudness, but for the sake of simplicity, we will say that it is a measurement of loudness and which can be very applicable in this situation. Now, PPM is also going to be uh, average loudness, so to speak, but it is more so measuring the peaks without the quick transients. So if you have a transient that is under a millisecond, one millisecond long, it won't pick that up. So this will allow you to measure your loudness without um, 
you know, thinking too much about clipping and whatnot because it will ignore those quick transients. In which case, in the audio world, if a signal wasn't peaking or isn't peaking for longer than a millisecond or so, depending on the meter, it isn't technically clipping. The peak meter will tell you the highest volume that is hitting at the moment, and it will leave a line there. So if I play this, you'll see the peak is indicated by this. So that is the highest decibel at any given moment. It just measures how loud something is, whereas VU would be the average. And you can see the difference here. And you can use more than one mode at a time if you like to do so, you do have a VU offset in which you can change which decibels are showing for the moment. So this one, the highest is zero. Whereas if we go down this way, we can get up to 20. If you wanna know more about mastering and how loud your master should be, just stay tuned for the next video. I'll go over how to use this default mastering suite, this exact setup right here, which is also a preset if you changed your template you can just drag it on. I'll show you how to use this to master your beats and compete with the people on YouTube and beat stars and things of that nature in terms of loudness. All right. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up.